Good morning everyone. Welcome back to GK today. And today we'll be discussing most important MCQs for 28th of January 2023. Let's start with our session. Which armed force started the ops alert exercise to enhance security? So the border security force has started an ops alert exercise to enhance security along the india pakistan border so this exercise will continue along the indo pak international border from sir creek to the run of kutch in the state of gujarat and in the barmer district of rajasthan state okay so this exercise was being carried out to tackle ill designs of anti national elements during the republic day celebration fine so this is border security force now talking about indian air force it will carry out exercise relay that involves all its major air bases in the northeast including the recently moved drone squadron in the northeast amid the ongoing standoff with the country china so indian air force has deployed and activated the s400 air defense squadron in the areas which can take on any enemy aircraft or missile from a distance of up to 400 kilometers and this is the second such command level exercise that is being carried out by the indian air force in the recent month fine so you can be asked that which indian armed force is set to hold command level exercise named as prelay so that would be indian air force next is chris hipkins has sworn in as the prime minister of which country so new zealand's former minister for covid-19 chris hipkins has been confirmed as the country's next prime minister and he was the only candidate to replace jacinda ardern who announced that she was resigning after more than 5 years as the prime minister now he will have less than 9 months before contesting a general election and he was appointed as the health minister of new zealand in july 2020 before becoming the covid response minister at the end of the year okay so now who is the new prime minister of the country new zealand answer would be chris hipkins now apart from it department of consumer affairs which works under ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution has recently released a guide named as endorsements no house for celebrities influencers and the virtual influencers on the social media platform So this guide aims to ensure that individuals do not mislead their audiences when endorsing the product or services and also it ensures if they are in compliance with the Consumer Protection Act and any associated rules or guideline fine so you can be asked that which union ministry released the endorsement no house which is a guide for celebrities influencers and the virtual influencers on the social media so answer would be ministry of consumer affairs next is what is the theme of the india international science festival so india international science festival is being held in the state of bhopal with the theme of marching towards amrit kal with science technology and innovation so international science film festival of india was organized as a part of india international science festival so basically nine indian science movies received the awards in different categories at this international film festival so two things are important what is the venue of this festival answer is bhopal and what is the theme of india international science festival so that would be marching towards amrit kal with science technology and innovation next is which country's president is the chief guest of republic day celebrations of india so the president of egypt who is that mr abdul fatah al sisi was the chief guest at the 74th 
Republic Day Parade of India. And this is the very first time when the President of Egypt has been invited as the chief guest on Republic Day. So basically India and Egypt country are celebrating 75 years of establishment of diplomatic relations this year and also India has invited Egypt as the guest country during its G20 presidency. Okay. Now if we talk about the NRI day which is observed every year on 9th of January. Why? Because this is the same day when Mahatma Gandhi came back to India from the country South Africa in the year 1915. Okay. What was the venue for this year's Pravasi Bharatiya Divas? So that would be Indore in the state of Madhya Pradesh. And talking about Indore, it is also the cleanest city in India. Now, who was the chief guest at this special event? So that is Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali. Right? And he is the president of the country, Guyana. Okay? Now, next is, which city is the host of the World Economic Forum Global Future Council 2023? So, over 50 high impact initiatives were launched at the World Economic Forum annual meeting 2023 and the World Economic Forum and the government of UAE signed a collaboration agreement on the trade tech initiative to use technology to overcome the trade impediments. And also they have signed an agreement to host the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum's Global Future Council 2023 where in Dubai. Okay. So which city is the host of this council? So that would be Dubai. Now talking about the country US, recently it has launched a scheme named as Welcome Corps. So basically it will allow a group of people and organization in the US to sponsor refugees who are seeking sanctuary in the country. So this move has been welcomed by the rights group as a positive step and this scheme will initially apply only to refugees who have already been approved for entry into the US and this is applicable for the refugees who are arriving through the US refugee administration program. Okay, So you can be asked that which country has launched this welcome corps scheme to sponsor the refugees seeking sanctuary in the country. So that country is USA. Next is the statehood day of Manipur, Meghalaya and Tripura is celebrated on which particular day? So the statehood day of these three states is celebrated on 21st of January and this year marks the 51st foundation year for these three states. So they attained a statehood under the Northeastern Areas Reorganization Act of 1971 and under the sixth schedule of Indian Constitution, Meghalaya was made an autonomous state in the Assam through the Assam Meghalaya Reorganization Act of 1969. So these three states celebrated their statehood day on 21st of January. Next is, which state is the host of the All India Conference of Director Generals, Inspector Generals of Police? So the 57th Conference of Directors General of Police, Inspectors General of Police was organized in New Delhi. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi attended the conference and distributed the police medals for distinguished services. So this conference covered several aspects of policing and the national security, including counter-terrorism, counter-insurgency and cyber security. Okay. So which state is the host of this conference? So that would be New Delhi. Next is which state organized the regional conference on e-governance? So Chief Minister of Maharashtra State, Mr. Eknath Shinde has recently inaugurated the regional conference on e-governance at Mumbai. And this conference has been jointly organized by Department of Administrative Reforms and Public Grievances in collaboration with the government of Maharashtra in Mumbai. Okay. So basically it aims to create a common platform 
to share experiences in the formulation and implementation of the best practices in transparent and citizen friendly manner okay so the host for regional conference on e governance is maharashtra state next is which city is the host of millets and organics 2023 international trade fair so the fourth edition of millets and organics international trade fair has started recently in bangalore and as we know that 2023 is the international year of millets so this fair has been organized by the department of agriculture and the government of karnataka so the first millet and organic fair was held in 2017 and the second and the third editions in 2018 and 2019 in bangalore city okay so which city is the host of this so answer would be bangalore and also you have to remember that 2023 has been declared to be celebrated as international year of millets now if you are asked that the sports equipment maker yonex is based in which country actually this is a japanese sport equipment maker and recently it has announced that it would expand the manufacturing capability in india to make full carbon graphite badminton rackets okay so this will begin selling the made in india carbon graphite rackets to offer them at more affordable price point so this company set up a factory in bangalore in 2016 and has been making aluminium t joint rackets till now in the country india fine so this is a kind of japanese based company next is pradhan mantri rashtriya bal puraskar is given to children of which age so pradhan mantri rashtriya bal puraskar is given to the children of age between 5 to 18 why for their achievements in total six categories which are these first is art and culture second is bravery third is innovation then fourth is scholastic fifth is social service and sixth is sport okay and each awardee receives a medal a certificate and a cash prize of 1 lakh rupees so this year prime minister rashtriya bal puraskar was conferred on total 11 children fine right? now these days pension fund regulatory and development authority is in news why because uh, recently it has allowed the intermediaries in the pension ecosystem to adopt video based customer identification process fine right? i am talking about pension fund regulatory and development authority it manages the national pension system in india okay next is which country has announced the plans to increase its defense budget by a third for the next 7 years so president of france mr emmanuel macron recently announced the plans to increase the france defense budget by a third for the next 7 years and also he has the detailed plans for a major boost to the armed forces so as to meet the modern threats including russia's war in ukraine etc basically russia's invasion of ukraine has actually prompted the western countries to review their military spending and increase it significantly okay now few days back we have seen that the country sri lanka has announced the plans to reduce the current strength of its military to 1 by 2 by the year 2030 fine so france country has announced the plans to increase their defense budget by 1/3 for the next 7 years while sri lanka has decided to reduce their current strength of its military to 1 by 2 by the year 2030 fine so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and uh, today there is no revision session because from monday we will be starting with our november month current affairs fine so till now we have completed the whole december month and now we will come to november month earlier we thought that we should start with september month but that would be too old because the recent current affairs are most important so we will start with november month current affairs from monday okay 
Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Minus Hatsuna signing off.